Hey, what's up, people? How are you? Hope you guys are well. I am uh, sitting in the car, just about to head off to the clinic. But it's not the clinic for me, it's the clinic for the car. I'm taking you guys to um, come with me as I go and get the car windows tinted. Um, we're going to get the back two tinted and uh, probably the front two as well. We're going to leave out obviously the back and the front because there's no need for that. But um, I'm going to go and get these tinted because yesterday when I drove Miss Bila and Zane out, I realized two things. Number one, we needed some privacy at the back because Miss Bila was sitting with Zane at the back. And also the second thing is because of the sun. Um, it was right on Zane's face, so kind of, yeah, I'm gonna opt for the tint options. Anyway, I came across a place called Car Clinic, um, googling online and I found this place, and um, lots of positive reviews. I went there already just to get a, a short quote, so I'm gonna go back and see if I can haggle for some more. But it seems like it's good quality, um, so I'm gonna have to give it a go. I've not, I've not tried any other place here in the UAE, uh, so this is the first for me. And uh, yeah, it'll be interesting. We'll see uh, if it will kind of uh, spruce up the car a little. Tints always have that kind of effect, so it should be interesting. So after the last vlog, I got quite a few comments and messages from people who wanted me to show them and talk to them about my SUV. This is my uh, sports utility vehicle SUV 4x4. It's not really a proper 4x4, though it has got 4x4 handling, although it wouldn't perform really well, not as well as some of the other ones. But this is an Infiniti FX35. Now, in the UK, we don't know much about the Infiniti because it's not, I wouldn't say, you know, it's not as popular out there, but essentially it's the luxury version of Nissan. So, you know how Lexus is Toyota's luxury badge? Well, Infiniti is Nissan's luxury badge. And this is their uh, FX35, I think now it's a QX70. It's a 2008 model and um, it's got, uh, I think, 21, 22 alloy wheels. I've forgotten, not very good of me. Uh, it comes with a sports package as well. So it means it's got like sports handling and you know, just overall really nice drive. Um, the other thing about the car is that it's actually really nice and spacious as well. Um, internal, I'll show you when they're finished with the thing inside, what the insides are like. But essentially, um, it's got a V6. Um, and you know, it's just overall, it's the handling of this thing is just phenomenal. That's one of the reasons I opted for it, because the handling is so stellar. And uh, what I'm going to get done, I'm going to get uh, darker tints on the back these two windows over here and then slightly lighter tints on the front um, the guys were trying to get me to tint the back but I just I don't feel comfortable with that at all plus they're charging uh, extra for the back and I think it's kind of all right as it is there's a slight level of tint already to it but I don't want to I don't want to do any more than that because uh, you know I want to make sure I can see through it but um, this is like the top top end tint which is obviously too much so yeah this is the place, Car Clinic. This is where I bought it, Car Clinic. So go and check them out. They're on Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff. And um, we've got a little uh, working kind of area here. I'll just show you inside. We've got like, at the moment, they've got an S500 AMG in there, which they're tinting up. Very nice, very nice. Giving it clean. And they've got a BMW in there as well. I don't know what this is. It looks like a six series. No, I was wrong. 7 Series BMW, which is nice. So there's the guys working in there. Tons of customization that they get done. I'm a bit worried about this because once I start with one set of customization, I might be tempted to do a lot more. What's this for, man? I think they do like wraps as well, like skin wraps for cars, and then they do uh, internal, like especially for leather. I saw somebody earlier on getting some leather stuff done for the cars. So that's pretty cool, man. Pretty cool. If you're a car addict, then this place or places like this are going to make your life difficult and your bank balance suffer. <laughs> Check this beautiful BMW X6 coming up. Absolutely stellar. I've got my eyes on one of these. This looks absolutely beautiful, man. So nice. Okay, so the 
guys have started, so we'll see what the progress is like soon. So they tell me it's all done. Here's the invoice. Let's see what the finished product is like. Hopefully it's as good as they make out it is. So this is what it looks like from inside. Not that dark from there, a bit darker from the back and obviously I can see the back over there. This is another reason I bought this car because of the interior. I am absolutely in love with this kind of black camel brown effect and the, uh, you know, it's got internal leather seating, very, very cushy lumbar support, all that good stuff. The back is super, super comfy. Lots of uh, gadgets at the front. I put my own sat nav because this has all the kind of commonly saved places already saved on there, and I prefer that to be honest. Um, but it's got all the other mod cons that you would expect. So, this is at night, this is what the car looks like. Check it out done, kind of just turned dark now, as you can see. And uh, it's not bad actually. The back is really dark, which is good because that privacy is important there, and then the front which you can still kind of see into you can trust me um, is okay as well I'm so glad I didn't get the back done and in fact I think actually in hindsight it looks all right as it is you know without the without the darker tint on the back so I'm glad I didn't go for that right I'm here at Starbucks and this is not for me this is for Miss Bila I'm gonna go and get her a chocolate cupcake Chocolate cupcake time, or is it chocolate muffin? I don't know. One of the two. Let's check it out. So, some of you were asking about my tooth in the last vlog and um, essentially what happened was I ended up having to go inside and um, get my wisdom tooth taken out which was very painful at the time, that's why I couldn't speak um, They also put a filling into the tooth next to that and um, over the last few days it's been alright The only thing I've been noticing is the one that has a filling in there um, The dentist said that it might need a root canal doing which I was kind of hoping to avoid and stuff so it's been hurting a fair bit and I don't know if that is because I need a root canal but I was reading online thank God for Google um, that if you have a composite filling which is what I got given um, it can take about a week to week and a half to kind of sort out so I've got a follow-up uh, appointment I think in two weeks so hopefully that'll be enough time to kind of see whether or not it's anything serious permanent any of that stuff you know what I hate with a passion the dentists not personally but just the whole kind of teeth thing um and uh actually you know out here is probably the best time to get the work for my teeth done because um it's so much more well, it's affordable with uh with the health insurance cover that i have if i didn't have the health insurance cover it would cost me an arm and a leg particularly at the uh, burjil hospital but thankfully i've got the cover and, and you know in the uk um i didn't go to the dentist because the dentist would, you know, I mean, it was really expensive. I'm keen to test what the camera looks like. This is the new Canon uh, PowerShot S120 that I purchased. I actually did an unboxing on this for the Avora TV channel. If you want to go and check it out, then hit the link down, down below or above here, the annotation. Um, it's, uh, it's actually really good. It's quite dark at the moment. My iPhone would not pick this up at all. Let me check with the camera on my iPhone 6 or maybe, kinda it's not bad but you can tell it's not as good as the PowerShot S120 this is actually a really really awesome camera it's got some really 
uh, some functions. The only issue I have with it at the moment is the battery life, and I've got a second battery, but I think there must be a bug because there's blatantly plenty of battery, but it just kind of starts flashing every sort of within 10 15 minutes. So, obviously, there's an error there because it will give me enough juice for about an hour or so. So, you know, that's something there. So, daddy is back. And it's bath time with baby Kwan. Are you excited, baby Kwan? Excited? He's not talking today. <laughs>